from Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center. This is Today in New York. Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, of course, and the cancer is beatable with early detection and treatment, but that doesn't always mean the struggle's over. Coming up, one woman's story about how she beat breast cancer only to find out that that same cancerous cell had traveled to other parts of her body a decade later. Her story can be a lesson for all of us. Coming up next. Welcome back on this Sunday morning, and we all know, of course, that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and thanks to awareness, research, and treatment, breast cancer for many women is beatable, but some survivors are left to face an unexpected and daunting diagnosis. It's called metastatic breast cancer, and early detection doesn't necessarily guarantee a cure for that. It can develop decades after the original diagnosis, and that's exactly what happened to one of our guests today. Her name is Khadijah. She beat breast cancer in 2003, only to find out that she was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer seven years later. She joins us in our studio along with Dr. Mark Herbert. Good morning to you both and so nice to have you here and I'm so glad that you say I asked you how you're doing you say you're doing great and I'm so glad to hear that. Um, tell us your story Khadijah. I was originally diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. in 2003 when I was 28 years old. So young. Right. Very surprising to mm -hmm. me too. Mm -hmm. And I was cancer free until 2010 when I developed a persistent cough and when I went to my doctor they noticed I had multiple tumors in my lungs oh. and a blood clot and I was diagnosed as metastatic a metastatic breast cancer at that point and you well, you seem to be doing well thank goodness yes. um, you're in treatment for that still in treatment and ongoing chemotherapy treatment ongoing chemotherapy yes. and dr. Holbert I guess well, the, the point being with with metastatic breast cancer w w in particular with Khadijah what it is it's 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 still breast cancer it is well, you do not have lung cancer there right. it's it's breast cancer that has moved to another part of your body which is more treatable I would imagine from for more people than than uh, than a lung cancer or a lymph node cancer yeah so metastatic breast cancer it is breast cancer that has gone to other parts of the body right. the four main parts it goes through is the lung like Khadijah uh, liver breast uh, liver, bones, or brain, mm -hmm. um, but it's very different than early breast cancer. Uh, once you're diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, you're on treatment for the rest of your life. Um, often treatment works for a while, and then the cancer will start to come back, so then they have to switch regimens. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, metastatic breast cancer is the cause of nearly all of the 40,000 breast cancer deaths each year. When the, when the tumor goes from your breast to other parts of the right. body, that's when it becomes deadly. Right. Typically, a, 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 um, a woman who is diagnosed with breast cancer typically doesn't die of breast cancer no. in the breast until it moves to another more, more vulnerable part of the body, I would guess, of the brain. Or that's the, correct. So th the treatment, as Khadijah was saying, it, for her it, is chemotherapy, and this is a, a life long treatment how how I guess what women are asking now I'm sure people you know as a breast cancer survivor myself you always live in fear that it'll come back either he, you know in your breast or, or, or some other part of the body what typically should women look for when you're wondering where you said the brain the, the you know the uh, the lungs the the uh, other parts of the body. How do you look for this? Yeah, so the, the challenge with metastatic breast cancer is you don't know because it, it can go to different parts of the body. So in Khadijah's case, she was coughing and, and felt these mm -hmm. things, and later on it turned out it was in her lung. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of women have uh, metas metastatic disease in their bones, and they start to feel bone pains. So mm. any breast cancer survivor should really work closely with her doctor. Up to 30% of women that thought they survived early breast cancer can have this recurrence. 30%? Up to 30%. That's an incredibly high number. Is that is that something, Khadijah, that you had even considered? I mean, when you went to your doctor with this cough I'm sure you never thought that this had, had happened to you absolutely and I, I I'm a singer oh, <laughs> so good. of all places for it to come back to my lungs was mm -hmm. really devastating mm -hmm. however today I'm still able to sing and I feel healthy and I feel hopeful well, the hope is the number one thing. Never give up hope because there's always ongoing treatment, ongoing research, right. and of course, uh, you know, good, good treatment and care. So, thank you both for coming in, Doctor. Thank you for the bringing awareness to thank this. A, a lot of women don't think about the. We're always thinking it's going to recur, but rarely do we think about it in other parts of our bodies. But thank you both thank for you uh, for coming in this morning and and uh, continue good health to you. Thank you. Very All right. Much. Thank you. All right, Gus. Over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Pat. Next.